Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. In this lab experiment, we will uncover the intricate mechanisms behind the transfer of energy as objects succumb to the force of gravity. We extend our sincere gratitude to Cambridge International Assessment Education for their invaluable contribution to the creation of this compelling video content which promises to enlighten and inspire curious minds around the world. Energy cannot be destroyed. It is transferred from one form to another. When an object falls, it loses its gravitational potential energy and gains kinetic energy. This is known as mechanical work. The speed of a free-falling object increases very quickly. It accelerates at nearly 10 meters per second per second. The GPE stored by an object is at a maximum at its maximum height and its kinetic energy is zero because it is not moving. When the object falls to its rest, its gravitational potential energy is at its minimum and has been transferred to its kinetic energy, which is then at its maximum. The mechanical energy is the sum of gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. The gravitational potential energy depends on mass, height, and the gravitational strength of the planet that the object is on. The kinetic energy depends on its mass and its speed, actually velocity. In this experiment, a falling object is simulated by dropping a card from a known height. We will measure its speed just above the ground before it lands. First, a straight line is drawn across the middle of the card. This helps to identify the exact height that it will be dropped from. Then the mass of the card is measured and recorded. The meter rule is attached against one stand and light gate is attached to another stand towards the bottom end at 0.1 meter or 10 centimeter above the table top. The light gate is set up to measure a width of 0.05 meter or 5 centimeter. The pin is attached at 0.2 meter means 20 centimeter horizontally with the tabletop using a sticky tack. The middle line of the card is aligned with the pin. It is kept vertical and held at the middle so the minimize the rotation and air resistance as it falls. The card is dropped five times. Each time the speed values are recorded and the height difference between the light gate and the pin is calculated. The average speed is then calculated for each case. The kinetic energy is calculated using the equation kinetic energy is equal to half times mass times speed square. And the change in gravitational potential energy is calculated using the equation mass times gravitational strength times height. The height of the pin is increased by 0.01 meter or 1 centimeter and the card is dropped from this new height 5 times. This is repeated for each additional height increase of the pin. A graph of change in gravitational potential energy versus kinetic energy is then plotted once all data points have been recorded or calculated. The change in gravitational potential energy is almost equal to the gain in kinetic energy. The gradient of the graph is almost 1 and the y-intercept is almost 0. When the piece of card is let go, the gravitational pull starts doing some mechanical work on the card, transferring some of the gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. Just before it hits the ground, its gravitational potential energy is almost zero 
due to almost zero height. Almost all the stored gravitational potential energy has been transferred into kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of an object depends on its mass and speed. By finding the speed of the card just before it hits the ground, its kinetic energy can be determined. Gravitational potential energy is transferred during the fall into kinetic energy. In this investigation, air resistance was negligible. Therefore, the gravitational force transferred almost all available gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy by doing some mechanical work. If it is assumed that all the change in gravitational potential energy is transferred into kinetic energy, the energy transfer can be mathematically shown like this. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.